Hello and welcome to Festing Eimuiden. What we're looking at here is the biggest bunker that the Germans built in the Netherlands. This bunker was not to house U-boats but S-boats, the Schnell boats, the fast attack boats that the Germans had. And Eimuiden, where I am now, was one of the big S-boat bases in the Netherlands. They built two of these gigantic bunkers, a smaller version which was built further along but that one had received a direct hit during the war and was demolished after the war. This one remained. The dimensions of this bunker are staggering. It is 242 meters long, 74 meters wide and 18 meters tall. This has a 4 meter thick roof which is below another roof so it has a floating roof which could absorb bombs and in between these two roofs were the living quarters for the men who were working in the bunker this bunker was never finished the Germans started on working on this bunker in 1942 but incessant bombing by the Allies made them give up on September 6 1944 and Luckily for us, yeah, well, I think it's lucky for us. This one wasn't destroyed and it's still here. Looking at the bunker from a slightly different angle. You can zoom in a bit, show you some of the features. There's an access door on the left, which is covered by a four, three, four meters thick concrete slab. And we're going to walk around the bunker and I can show you some of the damage that's still visible. Just looking at it from a different angle and showing you some of the bomb damage that's still visible. Over here you can see quite clearly some shrapnel damage and that it hasn't even made a dent. More difficult to see because there are two trucks parked is the entrance on ground level and the massive concrete slab that is positioned over it to protect it. In the distance you see the massive S-boat bunker and here is another small bunker that survived. It's probably the generator bunker. It's not a very small bunker, we cannot get in, it's located on the company property. And you can see some bomb damage here as well. Some There's still air here. The connectors for camouflage netting, what they use to build it with reinforced bars. Could be either of those. Not a small bunker, but it's very tiny compared to its big brother in the background. So I walk to the other side of the bunker. And this is where you can see how big it is. The wind has picked up enormously, so I'm very sorry about any wind noise. You can still see the rod sticking out. This was for camouflage. And there's not one or two, but lots and lots of these rods. It's the entrance for the torpedoes. There was a light rail system here and through that opening in the roof, in the wall, the torpedoes would be brought in. Could be closed with a steel shutter. Another entrance, notice the massive concrete overhanging. I can also see bomb damage here. 
the Allies tried their very most to destroy this bunker and they had success in the end because it was never finished. They threw conventional bombs on it, they threw the Glantz Slam bomb on it which is a 5000 kilo bomb that was supposed to knock through the roof and then explode but there were two roofs so it only penetrated the first one and they used the experimental and highly classified Disney bomb which was a rocket propelled bomb which could be dropped from a B-17 and it would then point down a rocket motor would ignite which would increase the speed with which it would be able to destroy a bunker in this case it went through the first roof but not through the second roof and in the end the Germans gave up they didn't feel like finishing this bunker there was no point it was September 44 so they were kicked out of France this is what a near miss from a Grand Slam looks like on this bunker it scratched the paint a bit but that's all there is it's a good thing that the Germans gave up on it because bombs would not be able to destroy this one and that's why this one has survived as well three companies now own it and um, the size of it makes four problems it is um, slowly sinking and cracking up and it's not sure how long it will survive but for now it's uh, a massive massive reminder of what the Germans wanted to build a last look at the bunker and some last minute facts so I told you the length and, and width of this bunker but uh, to build it was 30 million rice mark and the reinforced concrete that was used on this bunker consisted of 91,000 tons of cement 450,000 tons of stones and 10,000 tons of wood casing truly a megalomaniac bunker there were supposed to be 14 Schnell boats in here plus three dry docks plus fuel storage and everything but uh, never finished and this was the water through which the Schnell boats would leave the bunker and uh, head out for uh, for England for uh, Allied shipping thank you very much for watching this if you like my videos please subscribe Enjoy your day and we'll be back with a new video soon. Bye bye.